In this video, I'll show you how to use the AI portrait effects in Filmora 11. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, to access the AI portrait, you can do that from the home page and this is the AI portrait option. Alternatively, you can create a new project and my assumption is probably you are in a project and you want to apply the AI portrait effect. Then this is the way. Let's add some media here. We can add some footage. And then we can just have this probably this video and maybe this video. So uh, just uh, somebody there walking you to see the same thing uh, in this particular footage. So here we are. Let's apply the AI portrait effect. Click on effects. And if you cannot see the effect on this side, click on video effects. And then you can scroll down slightly. Click on AI portrait. There are a bunch of AI portrait effects that you can add to your clip. So there's like something like human segmentation, human pixel art, human noise, human glitch. There's a turn all the way to fast flashing outline, ETC and growing. And there's still more down here. Neon shadow after after image two, clone one. Really, really awesome feature. Now let's apply one of these particular effects. So let's assume you want to use the human segmentation AI portrait feature. So there are two ways to add this. You can either drag and drop it to the layer above and automatically it removes the background from that particular section. So this is what it looks like. And then uh, I can go back to normal. So the first option is to actually add the effect to the layer above. Let's press on Control Z to remove the effect. The alternative method is to actually drag and drop the effect on the video. So if I uh, let go, this effect is going to be applied on the video. So you can see that the whole video is now going to have the AI portrait effect of human segmentation. We can press on control Z uh, so that we can look at some, uh, for example, uh, let's maybe go to something like a human glitch. Let's just go with this one and let's play. You can already see an outline here. Let's see how it looks like. That's what it looks like. It just keeps going in and out really looks good. It all depends on what uh, effect you're looking for. Now, if you can actually double click on this particular effect, let's just double click, we'll go to the advanced options of this effect. So you can fade, you can decrease the opacity, the edge thickness, the edge feather, etc. So if you actually just adjust the slider, you can see what is happening right here. The edge feather, see what is happening. If you add the edge thickness, look at what is happening as well. But we can reset using this button and then reset using this. It looks good out of the box. So you can say we're going to use that there. And then we can scroll down slightly. And let's say maybe we're going to do a human border after this one. Then we just drop this one here. And once we play that, the glitch effect, and then we go into a human border. Really, really good effect. You can just double click on that. Or you can change the colors that you want to start with and the end color to whatever you want. Uh, looks good. And you can change the size if you want it to be big. Uh, but let's reset. I believe the what comes out of the box is really, really good. The feather, you can adjust that. The opacity is OK. The edge thickness is OK. ETC. Then let's click OK. And if we play this, that's the glitch. And then we have the human border. They look really, really good. But simply put, that is how you can use the AI portrait effects in Filmora 11. Please note that these are, are more or less like paid features or add-ons that you need uh, to get uh, with a premium subscription. So you can check out the links below if you'd like to get Filmora 11 and hopefully use the AI portrait effects. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.